Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about basic polynomial operations. We're going to find each product. So, if I was given this product, we have a negative 4x squared minus 5x minus 1 times 4x squared minus 6x minus 2. Okay. Well, what I want to do here is I want to multiply all parts of my first parenthesis by all parts of my second parenthesis. Just because there's three terms in each one doesn't mean we can't follow the same process. So, negative 4x squared times a positive 4x squared. All right, that's me a negative 16, but then it's an x to the fourth power, right? x squared times x squared is x to the fourth power, okay? So, next one, multiply here the negative 4x squared by... A minus 6x. Well, the negatives cancel, become positive, so we have a plus here. And then 4 times 6 comes out to be a um, 24. So we have 24 here, and that's x to the third power. x squared times x is x to the third. Then we have minus 4x times minus 2. That's a positive here, positive 8, right? x squared. All right, so now what we have to do is multiply the negative 5x to all three parts, right? So negative 5x times a positive 4x squared, that's going to be a negative 20x to the third power. Then we have negative 5x times a negative 6x, which is a positive, right? Negative times negative is a positive, positive 30x squared, okay? Then lastly, we have negative 5 x times a negative 2, which comes out to be, well, a positive 10x, okay? And then lastly, we have the negative 1 that needs to be multiplied to all parts. Negative 1 times a positive 4x squared is a negative 4x squared. Negative 1 times a negative 6 is a positive 6x, okay? And negative 1 Right? Negative 1 times last arc here times the negative 2 is a positive 2. Okay? So now what we want to do is I like to, depending on our comfort level, but if you need some more time, which we'll do here, okay? I rearrange and put all my like terms next to each other, and they're pretty close, okay? So I start with the fourth power. I have a negative 16. I'll give a little space over here. So I have a negative 16x to the fourth power. I put a little dot showing that I brought it down. So that's the highest degree. Now the third degree, so let's bring them down. Plus 24x to the third. Brought that down. And the next x to the third here is a minus 20x to the third. And then that's it for the x to the thirds. Now we have our x squared. We have an 8x. 8x squared. This marker is dying here, but I think you still see it. And x squared. Bring down our 30x squared. Okay, we brought everything down so far. All right, and the last x squared is this minus 4x squared. Okay, then from there, okay, from there we have just the x's, all right, plus 10x right there. Let's bring down the 6x and bring down the 2. So we should have everything down, every, every dot should be under every single term, write everything down. So now we can combine our like terms. Well, nothing else is to the fourth power, so we just have a minus 16x to the fourth power. So now to the third power. Well, 24x to the third minus 20x to the third is just 4x to the third, right? Plus 8x squared, I'm oh, sorry, just, that's it. <laughs> that's the only two third power. So we're good there, we have, uh, that's just 4x to the third. 4x to the third power. Now we're going to bring down the x uh, squared. There's three terms here. All right. So uh, what I like to see here is really right. 8x squared minus 4x squared is just positive 4x squared plus 30x squared is 34. Right. So we have plus a 34x squared here. Next, we combine our x's. We have 10x and 6x. That's so just 16x. So we have 16x right here. And then we have just a plus 2 that comes down. And this is the last probably move for the marker here. So our final answer here 
is negative 15x to the fourth plus 4x to the third plus 34x squared plus 16x plus 2. So quick recap, what we did is we, we were given negative 4x squared minus 5x minus 1 times 4x squared minus 6x minus 2. We multiplied all parts of my first parenthesis by all parts of my second parenthesis. Okay? Then from there, we got this whole long thing. I then rearranged that to put all my light terms together, highest degrees, right? So the fourth powers, third powers, second powers of squared, first powers, and constants. Then I simplified that by combining those like terms once it was easy because they're all next to each other. And we get our final answer again of negative 16x to the fourth plus 4x to the third plus 34x squared plus 16x 